Hi there, Obik here. This is episode 1 of the video series Next Chase and Tests. And in this video, I will be showing a demo of what I will be building in this video series. How to set up with React testing library and jest with Next.js, a brief tour of my commerce.js dashboard, and many more. By the end of this video series, I will be creating this online store or e-commerce store whose front end is built with Next.js and back end is built with commerce.js. And here you can see that we have rendered all the products that we get from commerce.js servers. Each product has a price. Uh, add to cart button and when I click on this add to cart this will be added to cart and uh, no, with the all products list we also have category based list so for the category of keyboard we have two keyboard products for the category of mouse we have two mouse products like that right there is also a search box here you can search anything this returns results of all those products whose name includes this term such as MO is included in monitor, gaming mouse and regular mouse. Let's say key, keyboard, a K is included in both keyboard and RGB keyboard. So K like that. Here I, uh, you can see this navbar over here. It has home and a red underline. So that indicates this is the home page currently active. If I click on cart, which is, which is zero. So that means there are no cart items. And you can see here, please buy something from our store is written. That is because our cart is empty. And this red underline underneath cart. So it, sh it says that our cart page is now active. So I'll click back to home page. And when I come back to home, what I will do is keep an eye on this cart zero over here. I will now add items to our cart. So the first item I will add is keyboard. And you can see that this, is, this zero increments to one after a few seconds. Then I will add regular mouse and this one will be updated to 2. Then lastly I will add monitor and this 2 will be updated to 3. Now I will go to cart page and here you can see the total price of the cart is getting shown. The cart items such as keyboard, regular mouse and monitor is getting shown. And the quantity is getting shown over here and the total price after multiplied multiplying with the quantity is getting shown over here. Now we can also have we can increment the quantity or decrement the quantity. So what I will do is I will increment the quantity and you can see the updating getting shown over here. So it this gives a visual confirmation to the user that is this uh, quantity is getting updating wait for a few seconds and you can see that the quantity updated the total price updated and the total price over here also got updated. Now I can also click on the decrement button and uh, this will uh, decrement the quantity back to one again and the price also dropped off. And also I can uh, if there is only, only one qu uh, quantity one then if I click on the minus button then this quantity will be completely removed. Right. Now what I will do is I will go to checkout page now and here is also empty card button. If I click on empty card then this card will be emptied. But I will click on checkout so go to checkout page and initially it will show loading then it will start start showing the form and it will start fetching countries subdivisions and shipping options and then it will show the uh, complete form which is step one that is a, this is a part of step form multi-step form and this is the step one of that multi-step form so I will fill up the first name last name address one email city Z. I will fill them up with random data I will change the country to India. It will fetch subdivisions and shipping options once again. I will change the state to Delhi. It will again fetch shipping options and then I will click on next. It will take me to step two, which is uh, where I show all the details that I have already uh, a user already submits and the it uh, items that a user buys and the all also the quantity of that items. And here it shows the total price as well as the shipping charges. Then it shows in uh, card form where we can uh, enter our credit card details. So I will enter that. As soon as I enter my credit card details, I will click on pay now button. And it will show wait while we process your data, a visual message of wait while we, process, we are processing your data. And then after a few seconds, it will show that thanks for ordering. 
then my name and then my order reference id and also the total payment that i paid and notice here the cart now got refreshed so this is what we will be building throughout this video series and while we will be building that i will be writing tests and there will be seven test suites 20 unit tests and one integration test and you can find all the code related to that here inside the repository of online store with Next.js that is my repository and here you can find the code related to each episode so for example for episode 1 whatever we write throughout this episode you can find it on the branch of episode 1 on the branch of episode 2 you can find all the code related to episode 2 there will be branches for each episode of this video series so now let's create the project so for that i will write npx create next app and then i will give the name of the app so i am giving it online store that sounds better so i will press enter and it will start installing Now that it is done, I will open my favorite text editor, VS Code. So you can see that my uh, Next.js project has opened where I have some pages. I have the public directory, I have the styles directory, package.json and readme. So now what I will do is I will go to the Next.js official repository in GitHub and then I will go to the examples directory and then inside the examples directory I will go to with gist. Now to set up chest with uh, Next.js, we need to create some files like this one chest.config.js and uh, also before all doing all those what I will do is I will go to package.json and then I will copy all the dev dependencies over here and go to my project and there I will paste all them right then what I will do is I will open up my integrated terminal in VS Code I will do npm i save dev and this will install all the uh, dev dependencies so in the meantime while it is installing all the dev dependencies what I will do is I will go to the directory uh, github back again and there I will go to jest.setup.js and I will copy all of this and also inside the OBS code what I will do is I will go to the root of the project and then I will create jest.setup dot yes. that's it and here i will paste all of this so this is uh, actually needed for making just work with the react testing library right and it, this is a very important step and also now i will create just dot config dot js here what i will do is i will copy from all this from just dot config dot js here over here right and i will explain why we are copying all this and after i copy so I will copy it here and minimize the terminal. So here what it is doing it in the first uh, array it is collecting coverage from which we will not cover but keep it there. Here we will have module name mapper. What is this? So if you go to uh, index CSS here you have the styles.home.module.css. So we are importing styles and we are using it as styles.container, styles.main, styles.title etc. So what this does is it, it uses a mocking CSS modules. So we are uh, actually mocking those using identity of OBJ proxy. And for just CSS imports like uh, inside the app.css where we are just importing that. For those we are using this mocking uh, which we will create inside the root directory we need to create a mocks folder. There we will create a style mock.js. There we will create that. So let's create that. So in the roots I will create it underscore mocks double underscore remain, uh, remember that and there I will create a style mock dot js also we need to create another one that is file mock dot js in case we are importing em images like this but I am not importing those so I will not be doing that but I will show you how what to do so what we can write inside the style mock dot js so I will go back to github repository once again here I will open up the images and the mocks. We can see that there are two files. So for the file mocks, we need to write something like this. 
and for the style mode we need to write something like this copy and paste it there here I have pasted it uh, here inside the setup files after env you can see that book directory we need to have js.setup.js which we have already done so don't worry about that test ignore path pattern so we will ignore node modules and also dot next slash the dot next slash will be created after we build our project so transform here it will be transforming using bevel JS. so we don't need to worry about our jsx syntax here and also transform ignore patterns here so nothing too tough to understand so here we can save this i will open up my terminal and it has already added 623 packages in in this tutorial we will not be testing any api routes so what i will do is i will delete the api folder and that's it and now what i will do is i will go to the dashboard of uh, commerce.js now as you know that i will be using commerce.js uh, as our backend so if you are following this tutorial you can uh, create an account in commerce.js dashboard you can go to this commerce.js page this page and then uh, you can directly log in or sign up and then you can go and you can read the documentations over here now let me uh, give you a, a bit tour of uh, my uh, dashboard so what i will go, do is i will go to the product section and i've already created some products you can see and let me open a particular product and show you so here is this rgb keyboard uh, so here is the keyboard product and here we have a description for that i have an inventory also and i have given a price here i have also given request shipping address make sure you have toggled this one and also in the shipping options i have enabled it and inside i have also have enabled the international and domestic now how to create the different shipping options now bd is for bangladesh and in is for india so i will go to the shipping and inside the settings uh, there i will create this ad and there i will create this shipping zones so like that and let me show you each shipping zone so here i have india which has a zero amount and here i have international where i have 10 10 rupees uh, you can go to the category section and here i have the mouse and uh, keyboard so if i open the keyboard you can see th this is what it looks like so that's it now inside this settings uh, developer i guess inside the developers you can get the api keys and cores so if you open here you can get all the api keys and cores so what we need is the public key we don't need the secret key here right we need just the public key so we will copy the public key and here we will get back and we will create an environment file so i will now create a env.local file in the root of this project and there i will have an environment variable with the prefix of next underscore public underscore and then the name of that environment variable that is check public key and there i will paste the api key without any inverted comma and the api key is that a public key that i acquired from the commerce.js dashboard so now what i will do is i will install the sdk for uh, commerce.js so i will and this will not be a dev dependency it will not be a dev dependency right so uh, i will open up the browser and documentations and Oh, by the way, inside the documentations, if you open that, you can see there are lots of way of implement, integrating with such as create React app, Next.js, Stripe, View, all of these are here. So if you ever get stuck, you can write, jump right into this and you can start doing right. I guess install uh, check commerce.js. I'll paste it here and this will install it. And while it is installing, what I will do is I will go to the root directory and there I will create a folder lib short for library. And inside this lib, I will create commerce.js. Why do we need this commerce.js? So after I actually install this SDK, I will import this SDK here and there I will ex export it here. So I will uh, minimize my terminal and here I will import commerce SDK from shape commerce.js then i will create a variable known as commerce constant variable and it will uh, have this new commerce sdk there i will pass process dot env dot next check public key and now what i will do is i will export default commerce 
now from here on whenever we will be creating a page such as index.js whichever page we use this commerce sdk we will not be using this commerce sdk we will be using this commerce variable which already has this sdk along with the api key we have passed right but there is a problem since this is using a environment key when we will be writing tests we will face a problem we will uh, not have the environment key and uh, that will be a uh, very mess so what we can do we'll, i will create a dot jsd file and then i will create a set inverse and here what i'll do is i will mimic such as process dot env dot next shape public key which will be uh, even passing anything i will passing it through here so what will happen is let me explain this so when we will be testing our application it will uh, you know using this api key instead of our original api key which we created in this env file right and for that we need this and if we don't have this setup env bars then we will have a problem and also this is not complete yet so inside the jest.jest.config.bars what i will do is i will do something like i will actually uh, duplicate this line and then set up files uh, we don't need this after the end here right and here we will have the dot jest dash setup env bars dot js that's it now we will not be having any problem due to our api key, environment variable right we need to create components directory here in the root so that later on when we create components like navbar or a product component then we can store them inside this components directory right so i'm creating this here and now one last thing go to package.json and here we will have another script that is script will be test which will have chest double hyphen watch double hyphen detect open handles now why detect open handles that is because i myself found some errors uh, uh, warnings in my uh, console when i was testing which said that use detect open handles flag and i when i used to eat those warnings got away so that is why i added this right i will save this file and that's it for this episode in the next episode i will start with test driven development or tdd and create our homepage thank you for watching this video